Yeah, I can lift it now. Cool! Those lethal saw blades have stopped now. Hold it right there, Norm Spy. There are 50 trained revolutionaries pointing their guns at your head right now. Um, uh... How did you find this place, you soulless pussbag? I'm not a Norm. Honest. Prove it, boring boy. I've been to the Blue Pens, imprisoned by the Norms. I expect you were just there doing your job. Torturing people, displaying any will of their own. You are total scum. Don't lie to me. One false word and my guys will ventilate your head. I, I hate the norms. They locked me up for just whistling a cool tune in the street. It was a Brian Deluge track. Brian is a wanted man. How do I know that you haven't come after him? How did you find this place? I was told about this place a couple of times. It seemed my destiny to end up here. Who told you about this place? I want names. I want evidence. Tell me now or cash your chips in. I was in the maximum security blue pens. The normal ones are full. Apparently, it's high season for different behavior at the moment. I have heard of the blue pens place. There are many conflicting opinions about them. A lot of speculation as to what Paul is keeping there. Some say that he hides a great secret there. Well, whatever he holds there, the people seem very nice. I didn't meet any of them, but one of them gave me a note telling me to come here. Let me see it. So, it might be true. Well, I met a crazy window cleaner by the name of Dai. He told me that furniture testing can lead to greater things. He said that there were probably a lot of nice people at the furniture factory if I were to fall into the right circles. So you met Dai. He is one of the founder members of our group. If he liked you, I suppose I should. What? What is true? I will tell you if you prove your worth to our cause. You must perform two subversive tasks which will help me with my research, ultimately leading to revolution! I accept the challenge. Tell me what the tasks are and I'll do anything to show my hatred of Paul and his Norm army. Especially something, uh, did you say submersive? I said subversive, you fool. One, I want you to broadcast a video of Brian Deluge on national TV. Here's the video. Two, I want you to paint the cubic sculpture at the Mint Mall a lovely yellow. Could you write that down? Then when I've done the tasks, will you tell me what you believe the note is about? Okay. You were on your own all along. That's cheating. Yes, you can't be too careful when you're on the wrong side of the law in this town. I think I trust you now. Go, perform your duty. So what do I do? Aren't you going to give me a special gun or something? A, a magic sword at least? You're on your own. Sorry, what is your name? Kent. I'm sorry, Kent. I can't supply weapons. We are a pacifist group. You're on your own now. I can only give you one thing. A code phrase. There's a sympathizer at the mall. To get help, just say, If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. You and I together? Sheesh! I don't want to wander off and get lost. If I wait here, a bus will be along shortly. I hope. Very little seems to live around here. I haven't got the time for climbing. This thing looks vicious. What's that thing he's wearing? Hello? Hello, you muck. Can I interest you in some of the greatest matches the world has ever seen? Um, I'm a little low on cash at the moment. Well, that's just fine, son. I don't accept cash anyhow. I only deal in collectibles. Uh, like what? Stamps? 
Paperweights? Coins? No, obviously not coins. Uh, you seem to be an intelligent gent. Go find me a nice novel I can immerse myself in. Nice dog. Is he a pedigree? He certainly is, Brett. He's most definitely all dog. Name's Deepa. Deepa? Yeah, Deepa Dog. Only time he'll bark is when he hears other dogs. He does it loud, though, because of that bullhorn I got slung under his belly. Guaranteed to scare the waste products out of anybody. Really? Is it that loud? I'd love to hear him. I'd show you, but there aren't any other hounds around. He needs other dogs to get his mean streak going. Is it a mean streak a mile wide? Wider, wider, wider. This here dog's got me banned from more places than I've forgotten about. Here's one bark and shazam! He transforms into a maniac mongrel. He wants me to stick clean. Books you want? But you're, uh, uh, how can I put this tactfully? You're as blind as an egg. First impressions aren't always what they seem to be, my good friend. In fact, sometimes they're the total opposite of what they appear. So what you're trying to say is that you can see. Well, you're as fast as lightning, aren't you? I can see all right, but I can't see colors. Red, ha, blue, means the total sum of zero to me. I see the world in arty party black and white. What kind of novel do you want? Well, that would be telly. I like prose, rich, flowing prose, English stuff. Stuff with brocade and crinoline in it. Uh, stuff like Shakespeare, perhaps? Can't say I've heard of the boy, son. Is he one of those new wave authors? One of those guys who don't know how to write proper? Uh, not exactly. Bye now. Goodbye, young man. Is this book to your taste? Well, bless my soul. I'll have this one and no mistake. There's just a small question of the matches. Oh, sorry. Here, reckon I'd forget my own name if I hadn't already. Yeah, right. Thanks for the matches. That's a rough area of town to go wandering around in. Gallons of yellow paint. Agreeable color, but there isn't much around the city. Hey, that's cool. This thing has its own auto siphon facility. Should be filled up in no time. I don't want to wander off and get lost. The main entrance to the mall. I guess I'm not supposed to go behind here. I bet the kids are sad that their favorite toy store is dead. Yeah, so am I, come to think of it. There's not much business for hair stylists since food has an automatic hair trimmer ingredient in it. I could do with a new pair of boots. Trouble is, it's closed. This is a big sculpture. It must be the one I've got to paint. It would definitely benefit from a lick of yellow. Excuse me, Mr. Norm, sir. Go away, citizen. I'm not supposed to fraternize with the public. I'm here to protect you all. What? Just you on your own? Never underestimate the abilities of a norm. I won't. Citizen, may I ask where you located that extinguisher? It's Norm Equipment, serial number F092. I, uh, found... I sort of found it, sir, in a bush. Sort of. Thank you, citizen.